It's brought to you by Modelo. Joining Brown in the starting five, Kemba Walker. They were very careful. Murray is good to go. No minutes restriction on him after an injured ankle in game four. A week ago, feed off his energy and toughness. Here's Tice finding smart for three, and it's on target. Here's Lowry trying to answer Cant. Maybe that shot by Marcus Smart will get him going. He was two for 15 in the first round from three-point range. The step through and basket for Jalen Brown. Now, normally, a week off is a long time, and you can get rusty, but especially into these conditions as Siakam scores at a basket. Amen. Giving you an amen on that. Fred Van Vliet, OG Ananobi. Three-pointer is good. Second team foul, Tice gets past Gasol. Count the basket and a foul. Such an important player for this Celtic team. And, and, and trying to comprehend with, with your kids. And uh, so it, it was really emotional. It was really tough for us. But, uh, I'm, I'm Side, but didn't have his balance. Marcus Smart a little shaken up. Siakam fell on him. Pascal just one of four years. Walker in transition gets wow. it off the window to push the lead to eight for the Celtics. That is a difficult adjustment in the air. So you got the Celtics pushing in transition or executing at a high level. Now, they didn't make that last with Ibaka on the floor. Your level of aggression right here can be different, and he has shot the ball so well. Ibaka is smart, gets the rim. He's been excellent off the bench all year. Going to try another three here. And rattles it down, back to back three. The backup center spot. But as well as Serge has shot it, you've got to be there on the catch. Here he is from Kimball Walker. Nice giving for five from the floor. Eight point Boston lead. Three ball smart is good. Young guys like Tatum and Brown. And future of the NBA is in pretty good hands. Brown rising, canning a three over Siakam and a foul. Three year old rookie out of Ole Miss. Was a four-year player in college, and tough pass to handle. Williams able to grab it. A lob to Brown, and he can't put it in, but Williams is there for the minutes to play in the opening quarter of Game 1 of Eastern Conference Semifinals. Game 2 on Tuesday night. Walker for 3. Hit it! 5 of 6 from 3-point land. Van Vliet, no. And rebound and basket by Davis. Mark. Cleared by Ibaka, Van Vliet looking to run. Tries past Williams, gets to the cup, lays it in with the left. Start for Boston, shooting 58% here in the opening quarter. Tatum moving to his left, gets it to drop in for his first basket. Largest lead of the opening frame, 19 for Boston, the three seed in the East. Here's Van Vliet. Davis got it for three. Eight-second difference in the clock here at the end of the first quarter. Tatum gets past one defender, greeted by two more. Hits Wanamaker. Answers for three. 31-year-old, but in his second year, he's played in several leagues overseas. Here's Powell with three to go in the quarter from about 28 feet. Leadership to see their impact, and it's a pleasure to go to work with them every day. Thank you, Brad. Dave, back to you. Post fires to Tice, had trouble handling the pass and turned it over. Raptors looking to run. Ibaka gets the layup. Brad Stevens just foul called to Gasol. Now the Raptors on the other end. Powell drives right at Wanamaker. Punched out of there by Tice. I don't really feel like Celtics have been forced to grind out those matchups on the post all year. They're accustomed to it. And now Tatum gets a, a jumper to go. Second quarter. After game one where he had 13 points, Gasol averaged four. Over in a row from the floor. Hesitation by Brown, hangs in the air, gets the bounce. 11 pull the bench with those three fouls, but he does have 11 rebounds, doubling his previous playoff career high. Jumper in the lane is good for Kemba. Ananobi able to get to the rim, soars for the flush. One of the great in postseason environments in the NBA. Ojale for three, and that is... 16-point lead again for Boston. Gasol driving, flips it up, and it drops in. Matchson, try to get this to 10 if you're the Raptors. You've shot it so poorly. And it only blocks Walker from behind. But Walker seemed aware of it on that drive. Speaking of shot blocking, wow, Rob Williams. Toronto still shooting under 30% from the floor. 
Here's Tatum. Beautiful step through and finish count it. And now Boston showing a little bit of zone. OG gets the stop. Here's Ananobi in the open floor. Rejected from behind, but they're going to say that Rob Williams got him with the body. Oh, that was almost. Ibaka trying to back down Brown. Deflected by Tatum. And Tatum on the other end smashes it. What do we talk about him? Three. They've been one of the best defensive teams all year. Walker to Smart. One second to go. Good luck, Kemba. Good! Walker beats the... Three. Kyle Lowry, seven points, three fouls. Gasol working on Tice and able to get underneath. They play through Mark Gasol in the post, something they haven't done a ton of this year. Here's Smart with a drive and kick. Brown corner three, up and good. Jalen Brown accidentally, it looks like Tatum got him upstairs. It's a five on four for Boston. They find the open man. Walker for three. Both teams with a week off, basically. After their sweeps in the first round, Gasol no good on the three. And Adobe got it back. And plus it. That was nicely done. You mentioned the defense. Both these teams finished in the top two and points allowed. It's as Smart hits a three. Boston shooting 50% from behind the arc. Toronto's at 20%. At some point, the Raptors are going to get going offensively. Let's see if that's the start of it with Gasol. Kemba Walker, the leading scorer for Boston tonight with 15. Great pass to Tice, who slams it. Last year played great. Upped his level of play this year and has an incredibly bright future. Williams with the throwdown. Pocket pass, easy. Siakam backing down smart, got in the paint and scores. That's just the second Bowery. Not that tough. Van Vliet in the open floor, pulls the trigger and buries a triple. Something on the line. That was a young man ready and willing to do it. Right, what happens if they decide not to play and the season's over and as a Smart hits a three, how would that have impacted this? To talk about Fred Van Vliet, and he told me that Fred changed the game for undrafted guys, of which... Kyle Lowry. Of course, you had Kawhi Leonard in the front court. So now you don't have Leonard, you don't have Green. Can you win a title with Lowry and Van Vliet as your starters in the back? The Time Lord. <laughs> the Time Lord, and where, where did that... I haven't heard that one. So his rookie season, and I may not get everything, as Tatum drops another one. Norman. Sometimes reference that nickname. The Time Lord. Obviously, he's matured a lot, having a big impact here in game one. Over by Smart. Van Vliet trying to keep the dribble, and Smart, an excellent defender, picks his pocket. It results in a Williams stop on the other end. You know what? So even on. Ibaka from deep, and he was really. by Fred Van Vliet against Kemba right there. Van Vliet is wide open. Ibaka finds him, but that's been kind of the day, how the day's gone for the Raptors, although they end up getting a three. Only loss in the bubble to the Celtics. Different level of intensity you're feeling right now from the Raptors. Force a tough two, but there's the guy who can make it. 17 points now for Jason Tatum. Lowry finds a cutting Powell who hangs, and Lowry about a seven second difference in the clocks. Lowry driving it past. Ojale lays it in with the left hand. It'll be on Tatum on the far side. Walker trying to free him with a screen. Here's Tatum. Gets it away in time. Good! Well, we, we've uh, come to life here a little bit. It's yep. been a difficult day, right? We're out of rhythm, not making very many shots. Give them some credit. With Scott Van Pelt the other night. He said, you know, since everybody's been isolated, it's almost like you don't realize that you have had an impact change. Meanwhile, Toronto has uh, the lead down to 12 here in game one. Kyle Lowry started to get it going with 15 points. Wanamaker, wing three, 15. Guys, when players and teams first started discussing coming to the bubble, there were teams that had the higher seed as Pascal Siakam just have an extra foul to designate. What can we do to recreate that home court environment? And so this was something that teams were concerned about. You know, he, he didn't play a lot in the seeding games. That was on purpose. Brad told us today that as there's a foul, will they count the basket as well? Looked like the foul occurred before the shot as Tice and Ibaka are having words. 
So they're going to have to go look at this. But just to finish up on the three days off, including this game being postponed because the players didn't want to play. And obviously an emotional, historic athletes from other professional sports teams in America and even some college teams followed suit as Tatum hits the mid-range jumper or lost control at any point in this game. And Marcus shooting it the way he did today. That's now five points. Four point Celtic lead. There's Lowry driving. And how about Tice trip? Build around. You'll get Dwight Powell back next year. Uh, some really good pieces. Seth Curry, probably one of the more underrated the Time Lord, print a t shirt. <laughs> Here's Powell for three. Our friends at TNT will have game six of that series tonight. Siakam's floater is good. Matt Thomas on the floor here in the final couple minutes for Toronto as Brown drives, count it, and one. Reiterate the coaching staff while. After round one, the players can have family or tight friends. The coaching staffs cannot. There are a lot of loved ones, friends. But you just, you, it's just a, an unusual situation. Then you add everything else that's going on in the world. And right. Porter, but the Celtics answered rapidly. Led by as many as 24. And win at 112-98.